Okay, Neil, I'm going to try to show you real quickly the tennis court build here. What I first did was go in and download a tennis court texture. So I just typed in tennis court texture. I found this one. It's got a watermark. I brought it into Photoshop. I'll show you how I got rid of the watermark. Basically imports it. Then I go into my magic wand tool and I come to my layer here and I select the white part. So I have that on. Um, that's just my selection tool on Tolerance 32, and it picks the white lines. I create a new layer. This I rename Court Lines, and take my Paint Buck tool at white, and then paint the lines in. Then I wanted it to be concrete, so I took one of my concrete textures I have, scaled it down to 256, how we did yesterday, and then I chose Define Pattern and made it a defined pattern, and then I came in here and then filled in my court with my concrete texture. So now I've got my court lines, my concrete texture, and I wanted a different color. So I do a, um, I'm just gonna delete these. I was playing around just to show you. I come into here and I pick solid color. So pick the yin yang solid color. It's gonna create a new color layer, make it a green, and then choose multiply on it, change it to multiply. And then you'll see, um, It should, oh, it's masking here. I don't know what happened there. So let me delete this again. And just, we're gonna do solid color, make it green. And then we're gonna choose multiply. And then you can decrease the opacity on that. So that gets me kind of an old school tennis court texture. You're gonna do file save as. And then I change this to a PNG, you know, as my extension. And then I named it Tennis Court and save. I had already done this, so I'm saving over. The other one is the net texture that you're going to need. Go to Google, type in Tennis Net Texture, download this first one that you come to, 13 by 1300 by 1300 with the watermark. Click View Image on it, right click, copy, come into Photoshop, do a new file, and then I'll show you that. Um, Let's see, where is that? That's one of these here. So this is um, it's this one here. So this was the tennis court or the tennis net that comes in. It's got the watermark on it. Right click on layer one and choose duplicate layer. That will create a second layer that will start to make the watermark disappear. Then you go on top of this next layer that you just copied and create a levels layer. So you'll go yin yang levels and then that creates this next layer. With the levels layer, you're gonna it's gonna look like this at the start. And you're gonna see, take the black slider and move it to the right. That's gonna take and darken up the shadows. So you see I took out the white watermark at the bottom. And then take the right one, um, the rightmost triangle, and move it to the left. And that's gonna get rid of it at the top, top here. So in the end there, that's kind of how you can create or get rid of some watermarking. I still kind of want some of that top texture. I may leave some of the watermark. You can move this middle to see if you can get the watermark to go and leave some of that. Anyway, um, and then you're going to do File, Save As. Same thing, change this to PNG as the extension. Choose Net, and then save that. Then you're going to head into Blender. And I just want to show you how I'm building now um, with the keyboard, really. So Shift-A and create your cube. Now, if you hit five, you go into ortho view and hit one. You're going to see this cube that comes in is two meters by two meters. So see the major dimensions is two, and then these minor dimensions are 10 centimeters a piece. And so what I'm going to do here is the tennis court is 18 meters by 36 meters that I found online is what it's supposed to be. So I hit tab to go into edit mode and then choose a face here, and you're going to move this. So you're going to G to grab it and you're gonna move it 16 spaces to the right in the X dimension. So G, X, and then one six. So now it should total 18, um, 18 squares this way, which would be 18 meters. And then you're gonna grab the face here and you're gonna go G, Y, and you're gonna move it 34 spaces. So in the end, this should be um, 18, uh, by 36. 
So now it's sort of off center and you can't see all the grid lines. Hit N and then come down on your uh, on this new tab that opens up. So see that N opens that tab there. And go down here and choose display and change your lines to up so you can see more lines. I'm going to tab to go out of edit mode and then I'm going to go object, transform, and geometry to origin. That moves me back to the center with my tennis court. So you can see it's two meters thick. And if you want it thinner in the Z dimension, go into edit mode, AA to select the whole thing, S to scale, and then 0.5 will cut it in half. Sorry, escape that. SZ.5 will then cut it in half in the Z dimension. Okay, so that will allow you to bury it a little bit, and you may just want to leave it like that. Okay, now let's um, just real quickly just texture this. Um, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a new uh, material for this. So click new and I'm going to call this tennis court. And then we'll do one for the net as well and I'll bring that into Unity to show you what you can do. And then you're going to pick the texture, you're going to go new, you're going to go open and you're going to find that tennis court that we just made. And so that's tenniscourt.png. Open that. Then come over here to, I'm going to hit N to make this go away. And then you come over here and um, pick the tennis court here. And so now you're going to see it starting to show up there, but we're not mapped right yet. So you're going to hit 7 to go from above view. You're in edit mode. You're going to go U, project from view. You're going to hit A over here on the right. R, 90. G to grab. S to scale. And now I'll get it right in the X dimension, G, and then I'm just going to arrow it over just one. And then I'm going to go S, Y, G, Y, S, Y, G, Y, and then move it with the arrow. So that's basically it. So now you can see we're textured with our tennis court. I'm going to remove my lamp here, so I'm going to delete it so you can see it. All right, so our tennis court is basically done. Now let's make our net, okay? So now in the end, you look at zoom in on the tennis court. You can see it's stretching here on the sides. You're probably going to bury it, so it's not going to matter as much. If you don't like that, I would come here and make a seam. So control, or sorry, pick edge select and pick the edge. Control E, mark seam, and then you're going to just pick your side faces. So go back to face select, pick side faces, these four, and then you're just going to hit U and choose unwrap, and then it's symmetrical. And then you can G, grab this, move it away. And then like we did with the gazebo, you're going to stack these. So hit this to go out of the view. And then um, turn on your magnet. Make sure it's on vertex. And then G, and you're going to overlap some of these G. And then G. And now the sides are smaller than the edges. You know, then there's a longer dimension here. Hit B to box select it all. Take the magnet off, G, bring it up, and now you'll see we have sort of a nicer looking texture on the side. It still could be scaled a little better, so I would control Z, I'll pick that back up again, and let's just scale it a little bigger so it, um, it actually fits the whole dimension of the court. And then that will be more accurate and it will look better. Okay, so now we've just used this side part to just fit down there. Now it's not stretched as funny um, down the side. You could also then, if you want, you could you could go back and scale it in the Y dimension as well if you don't want it to. But that's not even going to be noticeable. So let's create this plane here. So tab to get out of, uh, out of that court layer. A to deselect it. Shift A to start a new plane. Now you can't see it, but if you hit... RX 90, it's going to bring it up. Now remember, it's going to be two by two to start. So I'm going to hit G to grab it. And uh, well, let's scale it first. Sorry, escape. I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to hit S to scale it. And I'm going to shrink it 0.5 because a tennis court net is one meter tall. I'm going to G to grab it or about that. Z to move it in the Z dimension. Hold down control and then move it up incrementally. Now, if I'm zoomed away, when I move in increments, it's not going to snap to what I want it to. So you zoom in so you can see those 10 centimeter increments, and then you can snap to those. So now you can see we just need to scale it to be the right width here. Um, so let's just uh, SX 
And I think this is, if, I, if it's 18, it's already 2 meters. So I'm going to hit 9. It's just going to multiply it. Nope, let's see. 18. All right, so if I hit 8, if I just do 1 8 there, it does it correctly. And so now I'm 18 meters wide on the scale. And so I'm already fitting there. Now the thing is, this is only going to texture on one side. So we're going to duplicate it. 7 to go look from above. I'm going to change to uh, wireframe mode so you can see this. But I'm going to zoom way in. And uh, we should probably texture it before we duplicate it. So let's go back and do that. So let's create a new, uh, a new material for that. And so we're going to come here and we're going to create a new material and we're going to call this net and then we're going to add a texture to it and we're going to go pick that net that we made and you'll see it won't look right here but when we bring it into unity we'll create a transparent material for it all right so now we're going to look at this face on and we're going to um, bring up the net here in the uv part we're going to look at this face on and U project from view. And then we're just going to hit S to scale it. And uh, we'll see what it starts looking like. We need to get it right in the Y dimension. So S Y here and have it fill the whole thing. And then let's go back into texture view so you can see what's happening. And so, so it's still stretched funny. So I'm going to go S X here. And we're going to just keep going out till it looks about what we want it to look there. Because this is just a repeating tile and you can go way outside the bounds. And so that, that looks decent for a net. Now, we need to duplicate it because if you look on this side of the net in Unity, it's going to be invisible. So 7 to go from above. Zoom in here. And then you're just going to choose Duplicate. And you're going to G to grab it, and you're going to move it in the Y plane. Sorry, escape here. That G, Y. And then I'm going to just use the arrow key to move it four times. Now, if you hit 7 to go from above, you'll see that there are two separate planes you've got here. Um, and you can kind of see that here. But remember, you won't really see that when it happens in Unity. You're only going to be able to see one side of it. Moving them about three apart. Three to four apart is probably good. If they're too close, you'll get some Z fighting issues. Um, so anyway, let's now take this into Unity. So I'm going to tab to get out of here. I'm going to hit, uh, I'm in object mode, and I'm going to select both. So um, I'm going to go above, hit B, box select, and I have both selected. You can see both layers. I'm going to duplicate it just because. Duplicate, and then X to just move it out in the X. And then I'm going to join these layers. And then I'm going to do File Export. Let me save it first. I don't know that I've saved this. So we're going to save this as, and we'll call this Tennis Court. All right. And now I'm going to export this, FBX. And then you're going to do Selected Objects, Experimental Transform. And I want it to be called Tennis Court Export. FBX and go ahead and do that. Go into Unity and I'm um, going to bring this in, import new asset. And we're going to go find our tennis court. We're going to bring in the FBX and uh, it should bring in our materials. We have the net and the tennis court. I then right click on the materials, create a folder and call it textures. Right click on the textures and import our net in our tennis court, so import that. Now you can obviously drag from the uh, Explorer as well. Um, now just to show you some differences here, the tennis court, I will go and change this from a standard to a legacy diffuse or bump diffuse. Bump diffuse if you want a normal, just since this is going to be peripheral, I'm just going to create a diffuse. Drag the tennis court up there, change this to all white. Then for the net, you're going to want the net material to be transparent. So I'm going to go Legacy Shaders, Transparent, Cutout, Diffuse. I may be able to just do Diffuse, Transparent. Let's try that first, see if that works. And then I'm going to drag the net up there, make that white. 
I'm also got to go to do the net and inspect it and change it to um, uh, it doesn't look like I have the choice. When I bring in some of these transparent PNGs, you can pick alpha. You know, the alpha is transparent. So I'm wondering if I don't have that set up right. So let's see what our net looks like when we bring it in. So let's grab our tennis court and bring it in. So my, my net's not showing as transparent. It's also not showing on this side. I need to reverse the normal on that. We'll go back and fix that. But you can see this is not showing transparent. Um, I may need to bring in a different file or make sure I've got an alpha channel with that. So let's see if we do it as a cutout, if I can get it to happen. Bummer. Okay, so I want to show you something. That texture I brought in here, I didn't create any transparency with it, so we need to do that. And the way we'll do that is we'll pick our magic wand tool and pick um, pick this first layer of your net and pick a white spot. Pick the box select and hold down alt, which will give you minus just for the top here. See how it's selecting some parts of the top of the net? I'm going to alt box select off because I don't want it to delete that and I'm basically just going to delete these holes for the net so now you can see all the holes for the net are selected and I'm on layer one if I hit delete it will go away now I have to do the same to the copy layer as well so I've just picked the copy layer the selection still valid hit delete again so now you'll see I've created a transparent layer through the netting and now I'll do this file save as save as a PNG over top of my net file, save it, yes, to replace it. Now we'll go back into Unity. Let's delete the old net texture that didn't have the transparency, import the new one. And now you can see, we can see through the net. Now the only thing I haven't done um, is I think the other side is not seen right, you know, so that'll be one of those sort of flip normal things um, you know and this is not a perfect texture if you find you could maybe find a better texture but that that will do okay I guess if the ball comes up close to it you may want to do the net a little differently um, let's also grab the net make sure that's white it is I changed it to transparent cutout let's see what if we have it as just transparent Diffuse, if that changes it, that makes it a little more solid. I like that. So transparent diffuse, perfect. I love that. So now let's just go back into Blender and fix this other side issue. And um, so I'm going to tab to go in here. And um, I don't know which one it is. I wonder if we just select the whole thing like we did with the gazebo and choose mesh, normals, recalculate outside tab to go back into object mode b make sure the whole thing's selected here file export fbx make sure my boxes are checked pick the tennis court to overwrite it come back into unity delete my instance of the tennis court um, import our new tennis court Oop, what did i do there I brought in the texture haha <laughs> Import the uh, FBX file and then perfect. All right, so now with knowing this, you should be able to create your plane to create your fence. And remember, you can just type in, make it 36 when you're scaling it. Just do the S36, S18, texture them correctly, and then just duplicate them to use around. But then remember, that's going to take eight planes to cover the whole outside one for the inside texturing one for the outside texturing i bet if you type into google um you know chain link texture let's go try it now but uh, we'll go google and we'll go chain link texture and then remember pick something squarish and you can also you know even if this one's not squarish you could take it into adobe and, and make it square 
And then the other thing I do is sometimes I go to this change the uh, search tools to size and change it to large. So you're only picking up a large texture. This one looks pretty good. And um, anyway, I think you can take it from here.